I'm obviously flattered to be uh, nominated for this award. I, I'm sure many people will say you don't do this for the awards. You do this for the satisfaction of watching, you know, people develop. Where is he? The fellow in yellow up there with a the hat on, Adrian, 79. He's 18 this year, late run this year. And for him to be running around, walking around, walk, 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 it's, that's the joy of it. That you see someone like that. And he's out, we've got now, I think, seven over 70s in our team. Better coach um, in terms of quality, I would say, Casey. <laughs> Quite. Yeah, because he, he actually has a really good idea when it comes to development. And he, uh, he's a massive strong point for Casey. Uh, for me, I, I'm all about the fun. So I... And it's not result driven as well. Um, especially for the youth aspect of it, they just need to go on to the football pitch and enjoy the game, regardless of the result. Results will come later on in life when you get older. Uh, to me, that's the positive side of it. It's something to, that we can get out and do. That um, you know, my dad packed up football at 29. I'm 71, you know, and I'm still going. I'm definitely encouraging. That's one of the biggest things for me. Um, Welcoming as well, I think, is important, especially when you've got new players coming in and stuff like that. So I've always tried to make myself very welcoming and um, just say determined as well to sort of push across exactly what we want, what we want to do, and what we don't want to do. And uh, hopefully that reflects in the way that I behave and the way that we are. If you were to describe myself, I would say that I would like to be most of the time um, measured, empathetic, and principled. Ruddy, marvelous. <laughs> Would that go?